Hi, and welcome back to the Sprugate, a miniature painting hobby channel where we attempt to get every miniature and model painted. Today we'll be tackling a board game called Red Alert Space Fleet Warfare. And this is designed by Richard Borg and put out by PSC Games in the UK. Now this game comes with dozens upon dozens upon dozens of little plastic ship miniatures. They look fantastic, they sit on little standees, and honestly, you don't need to paint them. But that's not what this channel is all about. So, let's get them painted. To start with, we're going to use two different colored rattle can paint and primers. The first one is Krylon Color Master Paint and Primer Black, and the second one is Krylon Ultra Flat Camouflage Olive. I had attempted to use the sand one pictured here, however, the coverage was not good on the dark plastic that they've got here, but the olive went on an absolute dream. Spraying these in bulk like this means that you have to do it in two stages, where you just lay them all down, spray them all on one side from kind of the sides and the top, let that dry, and then the next day flip them all over once that's cured, and spray them once again from the opposite angle that was blocked from the spray angle. The black ones came out with a pretty significant gloss sheen to them, which I'm not necessarily very happy about, but we'll be able to tone that down with some gray dry brushing later. And here's what they look like on the stands. Now, those spray can paint and primers take a good time to cure, so whilst you're doing that, we're gonna add a little bit of zhuzh to our miniatures by adding Starfield effect to the bases. I've got some very cheap craft white gloss paint, but frankly it could be white matte, there's no difference here. I just happen to have a big bottle of the cheap one here, and you put it all on a disgusting old brush that's decently frayed, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe most of it off, or at least some of it off, and then we're gonna use a small toothpick and use it at to do a little flicking action. I'm just gonna flick specks of paint all over the bases and it'll look varied and random, kind of like the stars in outer space. It's a really quick way to turn your bases from being boring matte black bases to having a little bit of spice to them. And here you can kind of see how that's gonna look overall with all these ships together. A nice little just subtle effect to help add to our immersion in the game. Now we're gonna get onto the dry brushing of these green ships first. I'm using Reaper's Master Series paint, Olive Green. It's a nice, bright, vibrant green. It's gonna look kinda of crazy when we put it on, but no fear, we're gonna to tone it down later with some washing as well. Genuinely for this step, get the biggest brush that you can find, because <laughs> this takes a long time and it can be pretty boring if you've got a small brush and it takes a long time to do each one. So the bigger, the wider the brush, the better it's going to be, the quicker it's going to be. We're just trying to dry brush everything. So you want to load up your brush, wipe off the excess almost until there's nothing coming off, and then just brush back and forth very quickly over the miniature, trying to go against the grain of where the details lay on it. Remember, your paint will also dry darker than it looks when it's wet. So again, don't be freaked out by how bright these highlights are. As it deposits the paint, as that paint dries, it will tone itself down. to add some contrast to the miniatures and also to help unify those two colors and tone everything down a little bit, we're going to use Army Painter's Quick Shade Green Tone. And again, big old brush and just slap this on all the miniatures. And this is one of those things where a little goes a long way in the sense that do you need to wash the underside of your miniatures? No one's gonna see them. 
So you, if you want to save yourself a little bit of green tone here and and save save some time, you don't need to do the underside of your miniatures, for example. Small hacks like that will make this go quicker and make your resources go a little bit further. Whilst that's drying, we're going to tackle the black colored ships. And for this one, again, I'm using a cheap acrylic craft paint. This happens to be some really old kind of blue gray that I found. I mean, it's like 97 cents, but you can pick up any gray tone that you think will look interesting. I went for a blue one because I wanted a cold tone to my spaceships. Again, biggest brush you've got, load up the paint on it, Wipe it all off on a napkin and get to the dry brushing. Quickly moving back and forth, brushing and depositing the paint on the raised ridges and edges of your miniatures. And boom, that's it. It's such a quick and easy job, and your board game miniatures went from injection molded plastic to looking real fancy and having some good contrast, and it didn't take all that long and that much effort. You can invest more time painting on individual details like engine exhaust colors and bridge windows and things like that. If you want to do that, go for it. But here we're just trying to get them painted, get them to the table so we can play this game with some extra style. Happy with how they turned out. They're two quite contrasting colors and they have two very different styles as well. Even though we basically painted them the same way, the colors you choose really change the way that miniatures look. So appreciate you guys sticking around this far into the video. If you've liked it, please like and subscribe. Follow on Instagram and Twitter at Gatesbrew and Sprue underscore Gate on Instagram. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.